my name is Laurent Pfister and I'm a researcher in Luxembourg since 1995. My research aims at um, the effects of global change on our water resources and uh, considering the fact that uh, we see an acceleration of the water cycle, we also need new ways uh, to monitor the different components of the water cycle, which will eventually allow us to also better predict how it is going to change uh, in the near and far future. And for this, we develop uh, new technological solutions, so new ways for monitoring different uh, components of the water cycle, like precipitation, stream flow, groundwater levels, etc. So considering the uh, acceleration of the water cycle, we had to find new ways to follow the path of water and determine the age of water in our rivers. And for that, we uh, collaborated with uh, experts from different disciplines, such as uh, hydrochemistry, ecology, mass spectrometry. And um, for example, we uh, looked into natural archives, such as trees, or freshwater fossils uh, that actually act as natural recorders of the past climate and uh, responses in uh, river flow. Um, along similar lines, we also tried to develop new instruments that would allow us to determine the stable isotopes of oxygen and hydrogen, which are used then to determine the age of the water. And, uh, this even led to uh, unexpected uh, uptake in other disciplines, such as uh, exohydrology, uh, which is basically the study of water on the moon, for example, or on other uh, planetary bodies. Much of our efforts have been geared towards uh, the monitoring of our hydro ecosystems as they function today and from what we have learned there, then to better project ourselves in the future. So how are these systems going to respond to global change? But for doing this properly, we also need to understand how these systems behaved before any major changes in climate or any other anthropogenic uh, impacts. And for that, we will certainly have to find new ways to read into natural archives and reconstruct baselines of hydrological functioning in our rivers and creeks. And that will certainly also again require a lot of interdisciplinary work, colleagues from ecology, uh, from material analysis, from mathematical modeling and so forth. 